It was at this moment he knew. He f ah! <laughs>Make sure you guys click the first link in the description and subscribe to my second channel. Also, make sure you guys join all three of my discords. And if you guys want to cop my merch, all the links to my merch will be in the description. And if you want to hop on my private server, go for it. The link is also in the description. And make sure you guys follow me on social media. Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy, this I went to and back with another video, guys. And today, I'm going to be reviewing the new 102 update. Not a lot of people realize what the Caribou just added on the new 102 update. So basically, they updated the map. The 102 update is basically an update for the map. They made the map detailed once again, like before it was detailed, and then they removed the texture and they decided to add the texture back. So if you really pay close attention to the map, you could see the detail. It really looks, you know, way more realistic than before. Not only did they make it more realistic, they also removed parts of the maps, some parts of the maps to reduce lag. So yeah. The only part of the map that I realized that they removed was the one, um, that part right next to the Uchiha base. I'll show you right now. Because I used to go over there and grind all the time on Gino. So I memorized that, you know, part of the map completely. So once they added this update, I completely, you know, saw the difference. I didn't even realize they added texture until, you know, I saw that they removed this part. So if you guys watch my old videos, you would see me, you know, going over a hill. So they removed the hills like wide open. You could just go straight to the, you know, die with the quest. So yeah, I don't know what other parts of the map they removed. If you guys realize other parts of the map that they removed, let me know in the comment section what parts so I could go check it out and see the difference. And you know, maybe do a review on it. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, I want to show you guys a new glitch. The only reason why I'm releasing this glitch is because Gareboys won't be updating the game. And also, a lot of people keep asking me to make a video on another glitch. A lot of people. Every video I upload, I usually get about 10 to 20 comments saying, Upload another video, bro. Please tell me another way to grind. I need to, you know, level up, get real. So, here's the video. So, it works for any mission, honestly. But I usually do pain. I suggest you guys do pain. Basically, do every mission around the map. Make sure you guys reset as soon as you kill the boss, guys. As soon as you kill the boss, reset. What you need for this glitch to work is Custom Susano. The first stage of Custom Susano. So, press X once. And then you'll need the last move for Iron Release. Activate it and then just equip any weapon you got. I'm gonna equip my sword and then just start attacking the boss. So as you guys just saw, I took out pain really quickly with this method. To check if you did the glitch right and reset on time, go back to the guy that you got the mission from. And talk if you don't see the quest, that means you did it wrong and you reset really late. So yeah, and once you go to the guy, he won't let you do the mission again. Simple, just rejoin the same server or another server and then go back to the same guy and you can do the mission. But I highly suggest you guys go around the map and do all the missions. Every time you kill a boss, make sure you reset and yeah. Once you're done going around the map and killing all the bosses, rejoin the server and you could redo all the missions again. Just make sure you guys reset really quickly right after you kill the boss. Doesn't matter what mission it is or what boss it is. Just make sure you guys reset really quickly as soon as you get the reward for you to be able to redo the mission again. If you don't reset quickly and you end up rejoining to do the mission again, the mission won't be there. You have to wait a whole day or a few hours for it to pop up um, back up again. But yeah, guys, I highly suggest you reset as soon as you kill the boss. So... I'm going to leave the server and show you guys that I'm able to, you know, do the same quest again. So, I'm on another server. Doesn't matter if you join the same server. Just make sure you rejoin the server, guys. And you should be able to do the mission once again.
So as you can see guys, I could do the mission once again. The same mission. Boom. I'm gonna go defeat Pain. Get the same amount of Rio. XP once again. All I have to do is just rejoin the server. Wait, before I rejoin the server, all I have to do is reset as soon as I take out the boss. And then rejoin the server. And that should work for any mission. I already checked it out. Tried the other missions and it worked. Make sure you guys have your weapon equipped and the last move for iron release and yeah should be really easy for you to take out the boss and also if you're like below level 1000 and you're using this method every hit you get on the boss is an automatic level up that's how fast this method levels you up See, I can't do the mission anymore, but I could I could just rejoin the server and it should be able to do the mission again So I'm going to do the Tachi quest real quick Reset and then rejoin the server And then I'm going to fight one of the bosses one more time and then I'll show you what happens if you don't reset in time Oh yeah, almost forgot to tell you one more thing guys. I think you have to have Taijutsu for this to work. Actually, yeah, you have to have Taijutsu for this to work. You see how fast I'm whipping Itachi? So yeah, everything counts guys. If you don't have the Iron Release, then this method might not work. If you don't have Custom Suzano, this method might not work. And if you don't have Taijutsu, this method might not work. So, so make sure you guys have all of these things. If you don't, then I don't think, you know, I don't think you could take out a boss really quickly. But you could still do the glitch, of course. You could keep redoing the same mission over and over. But it's going to be really difficult for you guys to take out the boss. So, as you guys could see, I reset just in time. But I can't do the mission. So, all I have to do is rejoin the server. And I should be able to do the mission once again. Alright guys, as you could see, I could do the quest once again, just cause I reset in time and we joined the server. Let me equip my custom Tosano, iron release move, and my weapon, and then let's start whipping Itachi. Oh, bruh, I forgot that I didn't want to reset, bruh. I wanted to whip Itachi and receive the reward without resetting. Just because I wanted to show you guys what would happen if you don't reset right after you kill the boss. Oh, bruh. So let me go kill Pain real quick. I'm sorry for stealing your kill, bro. Hold up, hold up. Let me lower Pain's health real quick just for him because that was messed up. That was messed up. <laughs> I stole this kill. Hold up, let me help him out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you guys just see what this dude just said? Tell him, where you at? Tell me, or I'm gonna find you and beat you to death. Oh, nah. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Yo, guys, should I use this new method on him, guys? This new method on how to, you know, kill any boss in less than three minutes? Alright, let's do it, bros. I'm about to tie you to his. Alright, before I go and fight this dude. I just want to show you guys how it would look like if you don't reset in time. So, I didn't reset right after I killed Pain. Now, the quest isn't there. It was at this moment he knew. He f***.
<laughs> you better not play with me, bro. You shouldn't have been playing with me. <laughs> Dude,